Hey everybody, Quad Nines back here with a pack of Fifth Dawn. It's one of the packs I picked up at GP Atlanta. Um, yeah, I opened up a pack of cons the other day. It was it was okay. Wasn't any value in the rare slots. Some pretty good uncommons. Uh, but this set's got a lot of broken cards actually. So a lot of stuff playable in both modern uh, EDH, even some in, uh, in Legacy. These packs do not open quite as easily as current packs. I don't really want to accidentally jack up the cards so okay let's go through what we have here let me see we got a bull shock sorcerer which is basically a, a three mana one one um pinger it's got hay so it can do it as soon as it comes down pretty good card serum visions well that's good value it's been repaired a few times but i do like the original art the most battered golem doesn't untap when an artifact comes into play you untap it uh, some combos going on there. Uh, Silvok Explorer. Hmm. Human that uh, is reflecting pool. Is that what I'm saying? One, one for two that's reflecting pool. Okay. Flesh Grafter. Three mana, two, two. Discard an artifact card from your hand and it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Cool. Art's really creepy, of course. Cranial Plating. Uh, this is a card that was reprinted in Modern Master set, so you know it's pretty good. It's good in the Affinity, of course. Uh, Viridian Scout. You can sack it and pay three uh, to deal two damage to a target creature with flying. It's a one-two for four, so yeah, not not great. Uh, Anadet Lurker. Never seen this card, actually. Uh, when it's put in the graveyard from play, you gain three life. A five-minute three-three artifact creature. Mana Geyser. I have had... Uh, Friends trying to build decks around this in, in EDH. It's it's pretty interesting. You add red to your mana pool for each tap land your opponent's control, which in EDH can be a lot, but it's five mana, so it has to be a lot. Um, Thought Courier, draw a card, then discard a card from your hand. So just a looter, but it's a human wizard. Uh, sparring Collar. Cr creature has first strike. You can attach it at instant speed for red, red, which is a pretty good combat trick, and, or equip it for one. Uh... Tell Jalad Justice, destroy a target artifact for two and scry two. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Clock of Omens. Um, tap two untapped artifacts you control, untap target artifact. A lot of combos you can do with this. Uh, it's pretty cool. The original art I like better than the... I forgot when it got reprinted, but yeah, I like this art better. Oriok Salvagers. I believe this was upshifted to rare in the original Modern Masters, which you, you really hated opening it. It was awesome in draft. That's why they push it to rare. But it's one and a white return target artifact card with converted mana cost one or less from your graveyard to your hand. It's a four mana two four human soldier. The rare bringer of the green dawn. You may pay Wooburg rather than pay its mana cost, which would be seven green green. Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, you put a three three beast creature token into play and it's a five five. So for Wooburg, Wooburg you get a five five trample that makes a three three beast every turn. Um like I said, I didn't really draft this set. I might have drafted it once on Magic Online, and I'm sure it didn't do well. Um, don't know. Really don't know. Uh, hmm. Yep, yeah, probably the Pinger, the Sorcerer. There are a lot of one toughness, like um, utility creatures. Could be Sparring Collar or something like that. Maybe Oriok Salvagers. Probably Oriox Salvage. I don't know. Uh, if you know what your pick would be, put it down below. Or if you play the format and really liked it, let me know. Uh, Bring of the Green Dawn seems fun in some formats. EDH maybe. But hope you enjoyed the pack. Um, I've got a pack of Ravnica and Ascension left. I don't guess it really matters which one of those open up first. So be on the lookout for those. They'll be coming soon. Thanks for watching.